Hi guys, Adam here, okay, Irish Welsh Kells, and today I want to do a kind of a commentary. As you know, I do Sunday commentary is kind of a bit different. And today I want to talk about um, basically, like I've seen in a few of my videos recently, uh, people have made reference to, oh, you have like minus 20 games, basically, or like 20 less wins than losses or something like that. And I just kind of wanted to draw attention to that, and the reason that is, and kind of how YouTube has play has changed the way I play FIFA and kind of the effects for that so basically I'll tell you what um, before I started actually doing YouTube guys I, I'm telling you I literally had not used a skill in my life I didn't even know what the button was if I ever went to use them it was only as a joke and that was me spin just flicking the stick randomly hoping for something to happen I literally did not have a clue of any skill um, the only skill I actually did know how to do was the rainbow flick, the ordinary one, and I'd only ever do that in the arena, hitting it on the volley. That was literally the only reason I used skill, and that was just in the arena. So, basically, that I never used it beforehand. And before I started on YouTube, I just went for the effect of let's get the goals, let's get the win. And to be honest, like I always had like, like my record on FIFA 11 and 10 and stuff well it's like twice as many wins as losses because it's like I used to just go f play for like I, w I wasn't a Superman player but at the end of the day I just went for the win if you know what I mean but like now you'll notice if anyone else plays if anyone else watching this actually starts into YouTube or is a YouTuber you'll notice they're, you're kind of under some sort of pressure like you think even Anto Holland I've seen him doing some videos saying that he's going to try to do more skills and stuff this year because there's sort of this like kind of social pressure nearly like peer pressure amongst YouTubers that if you're making videos like showing off squads and stuff like that you have to get decent goals for people and to get decent goals you have to learn how to do skills and guys to be honest I had, like I said FIFA 11 was the first time I'd ever touched the skills stick in my in my life and to be honest by the end of it I got like decent enough and now I'm after getting like decent enough but I'm still nowhere near like mastering skills like effectively like to be honest if you look at I think the most effective uh, player with skills is Nepentez if you watch Nepentez you see him in his Rune Random or games he's able to use skills effectively and incorporated with a winning game and that's something I still need to add to my game because obviously the defensive aspect of the game has fucked me up right this year because I'm still try I even now I'm still getting used to defending but it's like I feel that I need to get nice goals for you guys to look at and at the end of the day it affects my record because when I'm through one on one in a game guys I don't think about oh, alright I'll just slot this in the back of the net like I would a year two years previously or like any of you guys I'm thinking how can I advance rainbow this over the keeper how can I have a, have a little go or a bona here trying to maybe take it around and do a fancy flick into the net you're you're always looking for that nice goal and that's the thing about youtube it changes the way you play fifa and that's just a matter of fact and at the end of the day guys you score some nice goals like you'll see like even i who never done skills in my life i'm scoring nice goals but at the end of the day it does affect your uh it does affect your like wins and stats because there's a lot of chances where you look back in games you lost and gone do you know what i could have won if i just finished that there instead of going for that rabona that extra bit of skill i could have won that game but at the end of the day guys the ideal situation is like i said looking at someone like Nepentes who is an amazing skiller and can incorporate that successfully and actually just playing a game like he he's has the right balance of it and at the moment i'm still trying to strike that chord of the right balance but hopefully i'll be getting there soon enough now so that's basically that and also another thing about my record as well uh ask barca boy irish internet is not the best <laughs> and you regularly get disconnected from games barca boy will tell you that and um look at barca boy's record and it plays testament to that as well and also the fact guys if you look at videos of my channel when you're using teams like the slowest team in ultimate team the lowest ranked team and i have a few other uh, videos in their works that are hard teams to play with you'll realize that <laughs> you do lose a lot of games when you're using a team with like average high 20s pace you're not going to win many games and that's just a side effect of playing with that team but at the end of the day guys it's fun and someone left a comment on my video uh, like a hater going oh look at your record you're shit don't even make fifa videos anymore or what you call it 1v1 me you're shit and i was kind of just like People don't realise that just because I make videos on YouTube and other directors make videos, we're not saying we're fucking 
God's gift to FIFA. We just say we enjoy the game and we think we have some tips to hand out to other people that people would enjoy. And that we're not necessarily saying that I'm the best. And guys, you don't have to be amazing at FIFA to make good videos. It's just like it's just about entertainment value. It's not about how good you are on every game. So I think that's a bit of a negative statement. But tell me what you guys think about this whole situation in the description because it's an interesting topic and I'd like to hear your opinions on it. So um that is the end of the commentary. Hope you enjoy. I will chat to you guys later. See ya.